I'm on vacation in the Bahamas metal detecting. When you're metal detecting, you never know what you're gonna find. That next find could be the ring you're looking for. So we're currently in the Exuma Bahamas at a place called Staniel Key. This place is absolutely beautiful and I know thousands and thousands of people come here to swim and have a great time. I'm hoping to find something amazing using my waterproof metal detector and my portable scuba compressor called the Nomad. The dangers we face are sharks and strong currents, but let's see what we can find today. So we just made it to the spot where we're gonna be metal detecting and using the Nomad to hopefully find some amazing treasures. Take a look, there's sharks down there. We gotta be very careful, but the water's crystal clear and I'm so excited. I'm at a spot where people swim with nurse sharks. They can be dangerous and they can bite, but they are pretty friendly. But we're gonna get out there and have a blast and hopefully find some amazing treasures. Inside this backpack is called the Nomad by Blue. It's a portable scuba system. This is super great for traveling and if you wanna be lightweight. Literally everything you need is in this backpack. testing out the Nomad. This thing is pretty cool. If you love traveling, but you hate dealing with heavy scuba tanks, this is a setup for you. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can find something good down here. Big sinker. <laughs> Man, I thought that was gonna be a ring. <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> if you're enjoying the video so far, please leave a thumbs up and also let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Maybe we'll do some more metal detecting videos like this in the future. <laughs> Before we continue this adventure, this video is sponsored by Huel. If you go on a lot of adventures like me, you know that finding healthy food on the go is a real challenge. But with Huel, you can easily bring nutritional, complete, great tasting meals along with you and healthy food anywhere you go. So I've been lucky enough to try a few flavors of the Huel products these past few months and they all taste amazing. But this Black Edition Cookies and Cream flavor, it's one of my favorite flavors and it's super affordable. 
It's a plant-based option that is 100% nutritional, complete with 27 essential vitamins and minerals, fiber, probiotics, and 40 grams of protein that you need to fuel your day. So even if you're not on an adventure, Huel's Black Edition Cookies and Cream is a good option for an easy breakfast, lunch, or snack throughout the day because it tastes amazing, it's easy to make, and it makes you feel full for a long time. I personally enjoy it before or after a dive because all I need to do is add two scoops of the powder to the shaker with about 500 millimeters of water and mix it up. So it's super easy to bring with me anywhere I go. And I also like that it mixes well with a Heel shaker and it's creamy like a milkshake, especially if you have access to milk. Thank you Heel for sponsoring today's video. You can get started with Heel today by checking my link in the description below to get a free shaker and a free t-shirt with your first order. With that said, let's get back out there in the water and hopefully find some more amazing treasures. All right, here we go. Got the Nomad set up, ready to go. I'm so excited. Let's see if we can find something good down here. This turtle's so friendly. That was sick. <laughs> That was so cool, he's letting us like pet him and everything. <laughs> that was so awesome. I'm out here at the grotto. There are so many people here. I know we're gonna find some amazing stuff. Let's get underwater and check this spot out. though. I already found some cool things, KJ. So I shortened the flag a little bit so I can get underneath the cave. <laughs> so cool, man. It's so strong. So we're inside the grotto right now with a nomad and the metal detector. This is where everyone goes to swim and I know there's some amazing treasures underneath the surface. Hopefully we get lucky and I can show you guys some great finds.
so we're at the Staniel Key Yacht Club right now. This is where all the boats come up to park to go eat at the restaurant. Now, in my opinion, I think we can find some good stuff. It's low tide. Usually the stuff right here would be underwater. So we timed it perfectly to use the metal detector above land and hopefully we get lucky. So let's go try it out. $25,000 rings all around here. I'm probably standing on $100,000 worth of wedding rings right here. I do have one issue. Uh, the metal detector I have set up for underwater use, so it's really short, but I left the extender at home. So it's gonna look a little funny, but it's gonna work. <laughs> I have my very first hit on dry land right now. Kendall's gonna help me. All right, somewhere right here. It's still down there. Scooper. Ah. Wait. No, it's right here. Boy, I see it. Ah, we got a coin. Ah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All that work and I got a coin. I'm not too sure what kind, but that's awesome. No, no gold this time. Oh, no. Just give me five minutes, man. We'll be out of here rich. <laughs> what I'm doing right now is a grid search. I'm going back and forth so I don't miss anything. Hopefully we get lucky with something amazing. Well, I got something. <laughs> we got what are you something. Doing? I don't know, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here it is. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is, I got it. <laughs> it's a piece of just metal. I don't know. It's, it's, no, I don't think it's anything good. <laughs> just like that, we just found a piece of metal. <laughs> now what we're looking for. We're looking for gold rings, diamonds, anything cool like that. What is this? <laughs> Let's keep at it. So we just found a coin right here. I'm about to unearth it for the first time. Wow, look at that. That, it's pretty cool. I don't know what kind of coin it is. <laughs> I think that's Bahamian, but uh, that is so awesome. Got another coin. That's cool. We got some. Check it out. Got another coin. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh wait. I think it's just a penny. But that's not uh, that's way too big to be a penny. It? <laughs> I think it's a dime. I'm gonna wash off this find and we'll know for sure what it is. Just discovered the find of a century, a 2015 nickel. Has it at least been here potentially for what is that? That's uh, seven years? Wow, maybe. It could have dropped yesterday. <laughs> oh I got some. Hey sir. Would you be upset if I found a $50,000 ring right here by foot? I would not be upset. <laughs> it's, it's the one I lost. <laughs> <laughs> I'll split it, it with you. How about that? <laughs> yeah. oh, found another coin. That is so cool. This one looks super old. What is it? 2016. What? Quarter. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was Bahamian, but still, a find is a find. That is pretty awesome. We almost have a dollar. We almost got a dollar. A few more finds, we might buy ourselves a daiquiri. You never know. <laughs> when you're metal detecting, you never know what you're gonna find. That next find could be the ring you're looking for. That's what makes it fun. Every hit could be a Rolex. Never know. Let's see. Yeah. Found it. Look at it. You see it? Woo! Got a coin, bud. Yeah. I got a dime. <laughs> that's pretty cool. 1986. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Jake set some conditions. We can't leave until he finds at least 12 bucks so we can buy a daiquiri. I just planted 20 with some quarters wrapped up in it so we can get out of here a little bit. <laughs> Let's see if he gets it. It looks like there's some finger marks. I'm telling you right now, if I find a ring and y'all planted something, I'm gonna kill you. We, what did you put here? Find... What did you put here? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can't funny. trick me. <laughs> Kendall put this in the ground. What did you, what did you do? <laughs> you put <laughs> all my finds in 20 bucks. <laughs> I knew it was going to be true. <laughs> I saw, dad, I saw finger marks in a little ball of sand. I was like, 
someone put some here. <laughs> but hey, we found 20 bucks. We're getting daiquiris now. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. <laughs> I knew it, man. <laughs> that was good, though. Although I didn't find exactly what I was looking for, we found 20 bucks, technically. My dad put it in the ground for me, and we're gonna get some daiquiris to celebrate. So after metal detecting for many hours, this is everything I found with a metal detector. So over here are my best finds. I found a bunch of coins. A lot of these are USD, but also Bahamian currency. I'll have to clean them up to get a little bit better view, but I thought those were really cool. Right here, I found some fishing gear, some sinkers, a fishing lure, and also a hook. Definitely had to get that hook out of the sand. You don't want anyone to step on that. Found some nails and a bunch of trash and glass. Always try to leave a place better than you find it. That's why we always pick up all the trash and the treasure we find. I'm only able to help people find their lost valuables for free because of the amazing support that you all give me on my videos on a day-to-day -day basis. However, if you would like to take that support to the next level, please buy one of my official t-shirts at rivertreasure.com. I'll use 100% of that money to find other people's lost belongings and also to pick up as much trash as I can possibly find underwater. So if you believe in a cause, please check out my website at rivertreasure.com and buy a couple things. Thank you so much.